Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Four holes of radius capital R are cut from a thin square plate of side 4R and mass capital M. Determine the moment of inertia of the remaining portion about Z axis. To solving this question, it is not any directly formula is given. Here we have to find out the moment of inertia of the system one by one, step by step. Firstly, we have to find out the moment of inertia of the square plate about this axis. And this disc, four disc taken out from this, uh, are cut out from this uh, square plate separately, which axis passing through the middle axis the same. But this is tangential formula we have using. And subtracting this moment of inertia and this we get the answer. So this is the step by step process and we have to follow this process. Okay. Now firstly we have given or consider the mass of this uh, square plate is capital M. And this is the distance is 2, 2 R, 2 R that is 4 R. So length and width is the same. So moment of inertia we have using for this square plate that is M side square means a square by 12 moment of inertia of square plate so here m by 12 and what is a this is 4 a 4 r whole square so we get 4 4 the 16 m r square by 12 4 4 the 16 4 3 the 12 means 4 by 3 m r square this is the formula so here <coughs> and this is the value 4 by 3 m r square moment of inertia of the square plate that is 4 by 3 m r square now for moment of inertia of the disc we have required the mass how we can get the mass firstly we have already known that mass are considered the mass of the square plate that is capital M. So, firstly we have to find out mass per unit area. Okay. So, mass per unit area of square plate that is capital M by 16 R square. So, this is mass per unit area. And mass of disc. So here mass per unit area into area of disc that is pi r square. So here r square r square cancel out m pi by 16. m pi by 16. Then mass of 4 disc so 4 m pi by 16 4 ones are 4 4 4 are 16 m pi by 4 so here we get mass of 4 disc m pi by 4 now moment of inertia moment of inertia of disc here rotating tangentially Tangentially, the formula is used 5 by 4 mr square. So, here 5 by 4 and the mass of 4 disc that is m pi by 4 and r square. Okay. So, here 5 m pi 4 4 the 16 r square. Okay. So, here we have get the moment of inertia of the disc 
and then moment of inertia of this, this total system which this ford is taken out about this y axis so here moment of inertia of the system so moment of inertia of the disc that is 4 by 3 mr square minus 5 m pi r square by 16 then 4 by 3 and uh, minus 5 by 16 m r square taken out common this is pi so for uh, 4 by 3 minus 5 pi by 16 to break it m r square this is moment of inertia of y axis okay <coughs> but here we have to ask the moment of inertia about the z axis means we have using perpendicular axis theorem so what says the perpendicular axis theorem moment of inertia of this plane lamina axis passing through the perpendicularly of this lamina is equal to moment of inertia of mutually perpendicular axis of the lamina means ix plus iy here this diagram is symmetrically means we have to already find out the y axis moment of inertia so i y is equal to i x so i z is equal to i y plus i y in the place of i x we have substitute i y so i z is equal to twice i y moment of inertia of z axis equal to twice of moment of inertia of y axis so multiply by 2 we get the answer so <coughs> Two, four by three minus five pi by sixteen m r square. Then uh, i z is equal to four to the eight by three, five to the ten pi by sixteen m r square. That is the value of moment of inertia through the z axis. This is the correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.